Hello, welcome to another video from the Animal University channel. Let's go for the video. Octopus Octopus, plural octopuses or octopi, in general, any eight-armed cephalopod, octopod, mollusk of the order octopoda. The true octopuses are members of the genus octopus, a large group of widely distributed shallow water cephalopods. Octopuses vary greatly in size, the smallest, O. arborescens, is about 5 cm 2 inches long, while the largest species, the reddish-pink giant Pacific octopus, the Enteroctopus doflini, may grow to 5.4 m 18 feet, in length and have an arm span of almost 9 m 30 feet. The typical octopus has a saccular body, the head is only slightly demarcated from the body and has large, complex eyes and eight contractile arms. Each arm bears two rows of fleshy suckers that are capable of great holding power. The arms are joined at their bases by a web of tissue known as the skirt, at the center of which lies the mouth. The latter organ has a pair of sharp, horny beaks and a file-like organ, the radula, for drilling shells and rasping away flesh. The octopus takes water into its mantle and expels the water after respiration through a short funnel or siphon. Most octopuses move by crawling along the bottom with their arms and suckers, though when alarmed they may shoot swiftly backward by ejecting a jet of water from the siphon. When endangered they eject an inky substance, which is used as a screen, the substance produced by some species paralyzes the sensory organs of the attacker. The best-known octopus is the common octopus, O. vulgaris, a medium-sized animal that is widely distributed in tropical and temperate seas throughout the world. It lives in holes or crevices along the rocky bottom and is secretive and retiring by nature. It feeds mainly on crabs and other crustaceans. This species is thought to be the most intelligent of all invertebrate animals. O. vulgaris has highly developed pigment-bearing cells and can change its skin colors to an astonishing degree with great rapidity. The giant Pacific octopus can reportedly change color in one-tenth of a second, quickly blending in with rocky and coral surroundings. Each pigment-bearing cell, chromatophore, is individually innervated from the brain. The veined octopus, Amphioctopus marginatus, is also known for its intelligence. In 2009 biologists reported having observed the animals excavating coconut half-shells from the ocean floor and carrying them for use as portable shelters. Such behavior is regarded by biologists as the first documented example of tool use by an invertebrate. Octopuses have separate sexes, and the male has a specially modified arm, called a hectocotylus, by means of which it inserts spermatophores, or packets of sperm, directly into the female's mantle cavity. O. vulgaris mates during the winter, and the eggs, about 0.3 cm 1 8 inch long, are laid under rocks or in holes, the total number of eggs amounting to more than 100,000. During the 4 to 8 weeks required for the larvae to hatch, the female guards the eggs, cleaning them with her suckers and agitating them with water. Upon hatching, the tiny octopods, which closely resemble their parents, spend several weeks drifting in the plankton before taking refuge on the bottom. Octopuses feed mainly upon crabs and lobsters, although some are plankton feeders, and they are fed upon by a number of marine fishes. They have long been considered a culinary delicacy by peoples of the Mediterranean, East Asia, and other parts of the world. Octopuses are masters of disguise thanks to their amazing skin. As a result of their peculiar skin, octopuses can create the perfect disguise to avoid predators. In milliseconds, octopuses can alter their skin to take on several different textures, colors, and patterns that ensure that they look exactly like their surroundings. They literally become invisible looking exactly like rocks, sand, pebbles, plants, and even corals that may have different textures at once. There is also the mimic octopus that can morph its shape to look exactly like a less tasty marine animal to dissuade a predator from attacking it. Octopuses have three hearts. These creatures possess three hearts, which have slightly different roles in their body. There are two peripheral hearts and these two pump blood past the gills where it picks up oxygen. The central heart then circulates this blood around the body to provide energy for muscles and other organs. Octopuses have more than one brain. We already mentioned that these are incredibly smart creatures, however, their brain system is also truly a marvel. Generally, octopuses are known to have nine brains. They have a central brain that is wrapped around the esophagus and contains about 180 million neurons. 
They also have brain neurons in each of their eight arms, that allow each of these arms to function autonomously and independently. Therefore, the arms of octopuses have a mind of their own, even though the central brain can still exert full control and give general commands. One benefit of these for octopuses is that they can react very quickly in dangerous situations since each arm doesn't need to communicate with the central brain to receive instructions. Octopuses can use tools. Generally, the use of tools is not common in the animal kingdom, with only a few animals known to do such. Interestingly, some species of octopus have been observed to make use of tools for multiple purposes. Some construct portable homes where they can seek refuge when a predator appears. An example will be an octopus that clamped coconut shells around itself at the appearance of a predator. They may also use some of their tools as barricades and defense systems for their permanent lairs. Some of the items that they may use as tools include stones, old bottles, coconut shells, sticks, etc. Lastly, some octopuses may also use these tools as weapons, flinging them at predators or other octopus. Mating and reproduction are usually deadly affairs for octopuses. Virtually the entire reproduction process for these creatures is full of deadly events. A common instance of this occurs at mating when female octopuses may strangle their male partners with three arms and then eat them after coitus, usually because they are hungry and require a lot of food. Males that escape being eaten by the females usually stop eating after mating, which makes them weaker and less coordinated. As a result, they are easy prey for predators. Death may also come in the form of self-sacrifice for female octopuses. After laying eggs, female octopuses spend so much time cleaning, protecting, and oxygenating these eggs without eating or doing anything else. Mothers may sometimes starve to death as a result of this behavior. One octopus that was observed doing this was the Granolidon boreopacifica, deep sea octopus, that spent 53 months, four and a half years, brooding over her eggs without eating anything. She slowly wasted away, and the last dive to her brooding spot revealed that the eggs had hatched, but she was nowhere to be found. Octopuses are ancient. Recently, scientists discovered a fossil that places the oldest ancestors of octopuses at existing 330 million years ago. This is older than the dinosaurs and makes the octopus old. Very old. Detected in Montana, this fossil possesses 10 limbs, which is different from its modern counterparts, which have 8 limbs. The plural of octopus is octopuses. You may have figured that out since we have used octopuses all through this article. However, just in case you thought we should have used octopi, English scholars have noted that the use of octopuses is also grammatically correct. This is because the word octopus derives from Greek, not Latin, so as a result, its plural should have a yes. Octopi may still be used, but octopuses are the preferred plural according to Merriam-Webster. I hope you enjoyed this video enough and it was informative. Please like the video and subscribe the channel. Introduce us to your friends. Good luck to you all.